Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Welcome to episode 12 of Family Business Matters, where our topic today is the importance of philanthropy in the family business. My name is Lloyd Russell, Principal of TCB Solutions, and with me today I have Mr Chris Woolton from the Philanthropy Australia, an accredited family business advisor with uh, national and international experience, Ms Marina Skinner. So welcome guys, thank you for your time today. Thank you, yeah. pleasure to be here. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's an interesting topic, philanthropy, isn't it? Because we, we feel that it's something only rich people do and, uh, and that sort of thing. Yet family and private business is such a big thing. So, Chris, in your role at uh, Philanthropy Australia, you would, uh, you would see a lot of different types of philanthropy. Yep. So could you give us a bit of an overview of the different spreads of philanthropy? It's a good place to start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long have we got? Oh. Um, look, there, there's a range of, people use the word philanthropy in many different ways and in essence it's a catch-all phrase. Um, so we try and break it down in terms of what we call structured and unstructured philanthropy. Um, unstructured philanthropy is where most individuals are are familiar with that's just where you give to a charity and you can give a small amount or you can give a large amount based on your own family needs individual needs etc but it is money in money out yep. so it does good work etc but it really is one where you get inundated with requests whereas we try and encourage especially family businesses that where there's wealth generated just think about what we call structured philanthropy yep. and with structured philanthropy this is where you can actually put money into a pot what we call a corpus. You invest that corpus in a charitable structure of some kind. We'll talk about the different types later. Yep. And what you earn off that, you give out. What's the difference? Well, the real difference is you can plan your philanthropy. You can plan in terms of what you may want to give over one year, three years, five years, ten years, rather, that rather than just being one-off giving. Yep. But also you can use it as a defence. Um, most families, most individuals, especially high net worth, get inundated with requests. They go to a function, they go to a friend's party, they're down the local pub, <laughs> whatever they are, they get an ask. They know if they're a successful business, you know you're going to yeah. be asked. Yeah. Whereas you can actually use the structure. So actually, we have a family structure, whatever it is, and we give to X or A, B, C. We don't just give to anything that comes through. Yeah. And so what we find is people move from being, from being unstructured and being victims to requests to using their structured philanthropy, one, to have a structure and a focus like they do in their businesses, yes, yeah. um, but also to also handle all those, those requests and say, I can say no mm -hmm. and feel comfortable saying no because yep. that's sometimes very hard when people know you're successful and you have money as a family or an individual. So. That's, yeah, and, and I suppose that, that, that links very well into a number of our previous episodes. And uh, Marina, you and I spoke about the family office and you did mm. just touch on that, that, that it was sort of linked to family governance and sort of linked to philanthropy. Would you like to expand on that little bit now that you know, Chris has sort of opened up the door for you, so to speak? He certainly has. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Thank you, Lloyd. Yes, I think it's uh, such a worthwhile thing to do. And what I love seeing and, and working with families is they develop and, and come to the realisation that they need to put some structure around mm. their giving is um, aligning that to their values, what the family stands for, what they believe in and the purpose that they have, and then using that to guide them in the way in which they make decisions about where they give. and. Treating it like a business decision as well is mm -hmm. really important and using that to perhaps flipping on it its head a little bit in that rather than having all these requests coming at them, turning around and saying, we've actually developed the way in which we like to give and you need to meet this criteria for us in order for us to be comfortable that we want to um, give our money to your cause. And they're not just giving, but actually holding that organisation accountable mm. for demonstrating that the money has been used for the purpose that the family has wanted to give. Yeah. Well, the, mm. the families, 
you know, they've, they've worked hard for that income. This is where a lot of people think philanthropy is just doing good. Yes. But it's actually aligning it to your values. If you're a family business and you want to run it through the family business as well, it's aligning to what is the company and the family business values. And there may be obviously normally overlaps with the family values, but it might be completely separate too. Mm. So we see mm. people do both. They put their philanthropy around their fam the business so that all their employees become almost family members yes. of the business and of, the, uh, of what they're doing ph philanthropically, but also their family might have some very different personal mm. um, issues with, you know, the next generation, etc. might have a slightly different nuance to it, so they can also do it separately. Yep. But w where you see it working well sometimes, where they do it both ways. They're actually leveraging their business, but they've also got some family interests that they're trying to take into account of family yes. members who might not be associated with the business. So you, you can do it both ways. Mm. And is, is there a, like in anything with, with family business, and you know, we touched on, probably touched on a little bit there, that um, you know, as the next generation goes, so there's, so there's an evolution. Is there an evolution with philanthropy that you, that you think you're just a sponsor at your local place first and, and you don't do philanthropy? And, and you know, so it's a little bit of this, this you know, is it, to continue enjoying this presentation, download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today.